today we're gonna see if mermaids can fly. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. All right, so we have our timeline set up and we want to put transitions between these um, to make them seem a little smoother. So what I'm going to do, the first thing, is we're gonna open up our effects library and we're gonna go into generator and then solid color. We're gonna drag that down onto our timeline. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit and drag this end over. And for this transition, you can make it longer if you want, but I feel that five frames, so a 10 frame transition, five frames on each side of the cut uh, had really good results. So we're gonna have our playhead on the cut itself and then using our uh, keyboards, left and right arrows, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, for five frames over. We're gonna grab our solid color, drag over to there, come back to our cut, one, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna grab the end of this and drag it over. So now we have 10 frames total with the center being um, the middle of the solid. Now on the solid color, we can come over, clicking on it, we come over to the inspector, we open the inspector, we can change the color of this. So let's say, let's get a, um, let's do a, a light blue. So there we go. The next thing that we wanna grab is come over to video transitions and we're gonna do edge wipe. So we're gonna grab our edge wipe and drop it down. And now if we move our mouse cursor over it, we have this edge white kind of thing going here. So now you can start to see the, the building blocks to this. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to change the frames to five, which it'll bring it to our cut here. And we also want to change the angle. Now the angle will depend on which way you want this to wipe over your shot. Do you want it to wipe from left to right or right to left? So I'm going to have it wipe from this side of the frame over to this side of the frame. So I'm going to put this frame as negative 90. And if we preview it, it wipes across. Now to have this, for it to have an effect that it's moving quickly, we want to add a feather. And I found a good uh, setting is 200. So now we have this feather that goes across. Um, now we just have to rebuild the other side. So we're gonna come into edge wipe again. We're gonna drop it down and we're gonna click on it so it's highlighted. Change the amount to five frames. Change the uh, direction to the same exact um, direction that you have your other shot. So whatever this is for angle, you want this to be the same angle. Add feather and then change the uh, amount to 200. And now, once this renders, we will play it, okay? And there's our transition. For when you're doing this, I would recommend having uh, your render cache on and have to get that started, you wanna come up to playback and then render cache, I have mine set to smart, so anytime I make a change in the background, it'll re-render whatever that change is. Um, the other thing that you want to set for the render cache is what format you want the render cache. Um, these guys up here are gonna be really uh, uh, large file sizes, so your computer could struggle with those. If you come down to DNX HR LB, LB means um, low bit rate. That will just be a lower bit rate and the file will be a lot smaller. And it's perfectly fine when you're editing because you don't need to have it look perfect when you're editing. Um, the, these settings won't affect the quality of your output when you render out. It's just for while you're working on the project to have the files uh, significantly smaller so that your computer's not struggling handling them. The Cineform files, if you have a good graphics card, the Cineform format, they uh, what are referred to as GPU accelerated. Your um, graphics card will take the workload for those, those formats. All right, so now back to my wipe here. If I have multiple 
cuts that I want to use that same wipe, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. Uh, one thing to make to watch out for is if you have um, it like this size, you could accidentally click on the keyframe thing or this guy, and you know it's just going to pop up and it's a pain. You could just zoom in to make the bar a little bit bigger, and if you click on it to highlight it, and then click Alt and drag it. Uh, you'll make a copy of it. And then the only thing to make sure of is when you, wherever you copy it, that in between, in between um, both of these wipes, you wanna have the cut. So you don't, you know, you don't have it messed up. And then you can just copy from one to the other. If you don't have it centered, and let's say you have it one frame over by accident, what you'll notice is it'll wipe but then it'll switch before it gets to the whole wipe. So it'll just look really weird when it plays back. So you just wanna make sure that it's right on the center. And if you're having a hard time with it, just zoom in a little bit and then you can align that. And you can, you can always come in and click on the solid color itself. And you can change the color to whatever you want and then it'll just have to re-render that little bit. We can copy this one over. It's not aligned. Zoom in a little bit, line it up, and then you have your white. And you can, if you want to change the angle of one of these, you'll have to come into both sides. So like, let's say we change this to go the other way. So we do 90 on this one. We'll have to click on this one as well and do 90 over here and then we can play it and it'll go the other way. Pretty simple. I think that this is a, a, a clean transition. It's more of like, a, I would say like a commercial thing, but yeah, that's how to do a solid color transition with a little bit of a feather edge in DaVinci Resolve without using any plugins. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them down below. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.